Hey folks, we're continuing our journey, multiple journeys, through uh, the 15 most important topics slash tools slash um, technologies that you should know something about before you head on to your DevOps and SRE and enroll interviews. You don't have to be expert in all of them at all. You just have to be expert on a couple of them. Uh, hopefully they match what the, the role requires. But in, a, in, a, in the process of the interviews, uh, they are, they were more, more, they're likely to ask you questions from one of these 15 topics to gauge your breadth of the knowledge, not so much the depth of the knowledge. So we've been doing this for a while. Uh, last one we did was on topic number two. So today's topic is going to be Topic number three, observability, and uh, and today specifically Grafana. So the question today, before I get to that, please subscribe to my channel. When I see subscribers, it makes me be sure that people are getting value from these videos and that motivates me more to do videos for you folks every day. Okay. Oh, I went to the answer already. Question. Explain the process of integrating Prometheus with Grafana to monitor a Kubernetes cluster. How would you set that up? And what are the key configurations or considerations would you highlight to ensure effective monitoring? So basically, what things can go wrong and what do you do to make sure they don't go wrong? But before that, you have to figure out how to integrate um, Kubernetes, how, how to integrate Prometheus and Grafana with, with, the, with the Kubernetes cluster. So, First, you set up a Prometheus server, right? To scrape the metrics from your Kubernetes cluster. So maybe, I think a horrible drawing might help. So you have your Kubernetes cluster. You have your Prometheus cluster or server. And remember, it scrapes the metrics from here, so it doesn't push, it's a pull me mechanism. And from here, you go to your, your Grafana server, and that's where you have your dashboards, and that's where you look for, for information, basically. So let me draw a smiley face, SRE, okay? All right, so that's where you look. So what do you do? You set up Prometheus to scrape metrics from Kubernetes. How do we do that? We deploy what's called a an exporter. And these you can find online. You don't have to build them at all. Exporter is basically the, the code that gr grabs all these metrics from Kubernetes and puts it somewhere, right? Some kind of slash health or something that Prometheus goes and grabs it of every few seconds, minutes, whatever it is, right? That's how it works. Now, what else do you do? Then once you've done that, you, you install your Grafana servers, right? And what you do is you, first thing you do is you actually define a data source, right? In Grafana, you say, hey, uh, that looks more like a P. So it's meant to be, heard me, my alarm is going off. It's supposed to be a D data source in Grafana, right? So you say, hey, my data source is actually the Prometheus server. That's basically one major step process, right? Once you've done that, then you set up what, what's called the, the PromQL, uh, PromQL language query. Uh, I'm not gonna write, write it here. So it's called P-R-O-M-Q-L language, right? You, you, you write these queries, so, so, you, it's so Grafana, grabs whatever, whatever you tell Grafana to grab from your Prometheus so that they then become available in the dashboards, all right? That's my horrible drawing of a dashboard. And that's where you look. So what, what other considerations you have to do? So first of all, you have to make sure your Prometheus server and your Grafana servers are secure because you don't want anybody else act, have access to your infrastructure's data. Those are really important data, right? Um, also, uh, this happens in real life a lot. You have to make sure these queries are efficient so you don't overwhelm the Grafana servers. You also have to make sure the way you're collecting data from Kubernetes doesn't overwhelm the Prometheus servers. That's a whole other topic that we're gonna get into one of these days, but this is the flow. 
this is how you set up the whole thing. If you know the, this much, you should be able to answer questions on how to set up this the, the, these, this um, end solution, right? I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next one.